Meet the Pixis Ocean, a five-year-old carrier ship that's been given a pair of stylish, 125-foot-tall sails, charmingly dubbed Wind Wings. Now these aren't your grandpa's sails, though. These are high-tech wind harnessing machines designed to cut emissions and reduce energy consumption in the shipping industry. Think of them as the Tesla of sails. Cool, eco-friendly, and a little bit futuristic. But wait, wind power on ships? That sounds like something out of a history book, right? Well, yes, but it's also the latest trick up the maritime industry's sleeve to move away from the dirty bunker fuel that currently powers most of the world's shipping fleet. The industry, which is responsible for nearly 3% of global CO2 emissions, has a serious decarbonization challenge ahead. While the wind wings aren't a magic bullet, they're definitely a step in the right direction and one that Cargill, one of the world's largest shipping characters, has been betting on for years. So how does it work? If you've ever seen an airplane land and noticed the flaps on the wings moving, you already have a basic idea. Simon Schofield, the chief technology officer at Bar Technologies, the brains behind wind wings, explains it like this. Just like how an airplane adjusts its wing flaps to control its speed and direction, these sails can automatically adjust to catch the optimal amount of wind. They even control the camber, which is just a fancy word for the shape of the sail, to maximize energy harvest. And just like that, the ship is powered by the very thing our ancestors relied on before steam and diesel engines took over. But these sails do more than just look cool and pay homage to the past. Schofield mentions that the Pixis Ocean could save up to 40% on fuel consumption thanks to its new wind-powered bling. Given how expensive fuel is these days, that's not just good for the environment, it's good for the wallet too. And in an industry where both environmental regulations and fuel costs are only going up, that makes wind wings not just a smart choice, but a pretty obvious one. Of course, this technology isn't going to work for every ship. Some vessels are simply too small, too fast, or too oddly shaped to benefit from the sails. But for bulk carriers and tankers, the big boys of the shipping world, the wind wings could soon become a common sight. Cargill is optimistic about the potential, predicting that we'll see a significant number of new ships built with wind technology, as well as many retrofitted to take advantage of it. In a few years, we might even see these high-tech sails fluttering on ships all over the world. And wind wings aren't sailing solo in this quest to greenify the seas. Other innovative projects are taking to the waters as well. For instance, there's the Ocean Bird Project. Bird's concept? A cargo ship with five enormous wing sails that can reduce emissions by up to 90% on transatlantic voyages. Now that's setting sail with purpose. Another exciting development is Norse Power's rotor sails. These cylindrical spinning sails, think giant upright cans, generate propulsion using the Magnus effect. Yes, it's as physics-y as it sounds. Already installed on vessels like the Viking Grace, these rotor sails have shown significant fuel savings, and their adoption is slowly growing across the shipping industry. And then there's the Sky Sails Group, which has taken a more skyward approach, literally. Sky Sails uses a giant kite, yes, a kite, to propel cargo ships. The kite flies several hundred meters above the ship, where the winds are stronger and more consistent, pulling the vessel forward and significantly reducing the need for fuel. It's like giving the ship its very own Superman. Except this Superman is made of fabric and flies above the ship instead of underneath it. This technology has already shown it can cut fuel consumption by up to 20%, making it both an eco-friendly and cost-effective solution. These wind projects highlight a growing trend in the maritime world, a return to wind power, but with a futuristic twist. The Pixis Ocean, Ocean Bird, Norse Power's Rotor Sails, and the Sky Sails Group are leading a wave of innovation aimed at cleaning up the shipping industry, one gust of wind at a time. Speaking of world travel, the Pixis Ocean is already on the move. After its maiden voyage with the wind wings, it's heading to Brazil, where it'll load up with grain and sail to Denmark, 
likely enjoying some quality North Atlantic wind along the way. This technology could help take the whole shipping industry toward a greener, more sustainable future.